All the parents out there can relate to this next story. It's the middle of the night, and your little kids wake up screaming because they have an earache, and that usually means a trip to the pediatrician. And now, CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez tells us that telemedicine and a clever new device can make life a lot easier for everybody. Ear pain is the number one reason kids go to the pediatrician. 30 million doctor visits a year. But the vast majority of cases are not bacterial infections that antibiotics don't help. How to tell the difference? You really need to see a clinician with you know expert training, but who can use the right tools to actually see the middle ear um, and, and offer you an accurate diagnosis. Six-year-old Bolton Ruth sort of remembers earaches from his younger days. I don't know. You don't know? What do you do? I don't know. You tell me you don't feel good. I don't feel, I tell my dad I don't feel good. But dad certainly remembers them and trips to the doctor. My wife and I both work and so it's a, a game of Will this time work for you, or can you take him? Can I take him? That's what led Dr. Angela Fasaro to found Physician 360, a combination of a telemedicine consult with a clever home otoscope, a thin pencil-sized device with a light and a camera that connects to your computer or tablet device. That connects you to a board-certified medical professional from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. local time, 365 days a year, who can carefully direct you into the child's ear and use that visual to help make a diagnosis. Your kids might really benefit from having some eardrops or having from some fever reducer, having some other type of symptomatic support so that they'll start you know, feeling better and stop crying and <laughs> acting fussy and you can get back to your regular life. Cost for the home otoscope is $80 and includes your first telehealth visit. Subsequent visits are usually covered by insurance. Dr. Max Gomez, CBS 2 News. Could be a game changer, right? But wouldn't that mean we'd have to actually hold the child still long enough well, to put the instrument in the ear? Sometimes they stay still. Okay. But, you know, when they start doing this, hey, you're you know, right. you got problems. Game over.